But the competition uh, within the industry is growing fierce. Now that said, Korea's regulatory authority has slapped millions of dollars in fines on two of the nation's biggest movie chains for unfair practices. For more on this report, here's Connie Kim. Korea's two biggest movie chains, CGV and Lotte Cinema, have been fined a combined five million U.S. dollars for engaging in unfair practices. These practices include giving affiliate distributors more screens to show their movies and allowing them to screen the films for longer periods of time. The Fair Trade Commission said the moves gave CJCGV and Lotte Cinema an unfair advantage at the box office. The FTC pointed to two hits in particular. CJ ENM's Masquerade, a 2012 film that attracted more than 10 million viewers, and Lotte Entertainment's The Taste of Money, which was released that same year on triple the number of screens than competing films. The watchdog said the two movie chains also gave out free movie discount coupons without the consent of distributors. It's meaningful because the commission is taking strong legal action for the first time against the unfair practices of large vertical integrated cinema chains. The case has put the oligopoly of the Korean film industry back in the spotlight. The top three multiplexes in Korea make up more than 90 percent of screen shares in the country. And about 30 percent of all films produced each year aren't even released in theaters. Experts say a new platform for independent, low-budget films is needed for diversification. I think it is a great idea for major companies to build theaters only for smaller films, but not if it's a merely a temporary measure to avoid the separation between distribution and screening. And market watchers say if these theaters reserved for small firms are given enough support, a positive synergy effect in the industry can be created. Connie Kim, Arirang News.